Hey, man. Hey. What you up to? Want to come back to mine and watch movies? Yeah, sure. Just got to feed the dog. Oh, hey, no worries. Uh, I've actually got an app that helps you feed your dog. Really? Because I can just... Ah, check it out. Yellow. Oh, yeah. That's my mum. Oh, yeah, I'm just at Neil's. Yeah, we're about to head back soon. All right, love you too. Ready? Oh, Pete Michaels. I hope he sits next to me. No, 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 don't sit there. That's it. Keep walking. Is he? He is. Hey, Hayley, how's it going? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Did you put raw egg on my seat? Yeah. Oh, oh. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, Kyle Dennison. I hope he sits next to me. Today we're going to have a look at the United States of America, in particular the South. Uh, is there anyone here that can name me three southern states? Oh, okay. Okay, name me three southern <laughs> states. Tennessee, Alabama, and Florida. Uh, yeah, no, it didn't quite. Tennessee, Alabama, and Florida. Yeah, and again, can't really. Tennessee. Alabama. <laughs> okay, Bane, you're gonna have to take your mask off, mate. I can't quite hear you, so. Tennessee, Alabama, and Florida. Ah, that's right. Very good, Bane. Bane? Don't you, like, die if you take your mask off? Yes. <gasps> <gasps> Thank you. If I had a, a superpower, I would um, have an unburnable roof of my mouth and defend the world by never falling for the tyranny of toasted cheese and tomato sandwiches ever again. If I had a superpower, I would be stretchy. Like, you, I could stretch my limbs out because how cool would that be? I could, you can like project yourself like a slingshot and you could just reach things and you could jump so high and have a safe landing because your legs would be stretched and then, oh, it would be so fun. But it's nothing like the gold class in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally just got my own home cinema set up. HD flat screen, Blu-ray, Dolby Digital surround sound. The Dark Knight Rises looks so awesome on it, yeah. Yeah, well, I also got my home cinema set up, yeah. 60-seater, automated projection, my own ushers, yeah. Screen to print of Iron Man last night, bruh. Nice work, bruh, but when I say home cinema set up, it's an IMAX, yeah. Eight stories tall and in 3D coming at ya. If you haven't seen The Amazing Spider-Man in IMAX, you have not lived, yeah. Yeah, well, I had the cast of The Avengers come over last night, bar to watch Iron Man, who was in The Avengers. That's kind of why I screened it. And Scarlett Johansson totally kissed me on the tongue. <laughs> on the tongue? Nice work, bro. Yeah! <laughs> I'd kill for a can of soft drink from the tuck shop. Can you lend me some cash, Simon? What are you asking me for? I'm not made of money. Um, have you looked in the mirror lately? You still can't have any. So if I do this, it means finish him off? No, no, no. no. This means finish him off. That means nothing. Ah, uh, what about this? That just means awesome. <laughs> Greetings, citizens. Who would care to accompany me to the aqueduct for a refreshing glass of goat's milk? Mm. It's too hot. Yeah, and way too far to walk. Not with these, it isn't. What are we supposed to do with a set of keys? Not just any set of keys, but keys to my father's chariot. Your father's chariot has keys? Why does your father's chariot have keys? Because he chains it to the pillar near our house, so I don't take it for a spin. But he left them in his spare toga when he went to the forum today. So who wants to go for a ride? I don't think that's a very good idea. Yeah, me neither. What, are you afraid that I won't be able to control the awesome power of my father's team of stallions? You mean his donkey? <laughs> 
Well, it's a smart chariot. It gets 10 k's to the turnip. What's with all those carvings on the back of your mother, your father, you and your sister? And your dog and your cat. And your three slaves. They're out my familiar's carvings. They're going to be huge one day. Wouldn't hold your breath. So no one's coming with me then? Do you even have a chariot license? I've got my L's. I heard you failed your P. Who told you that? <laughs> okay, so Tolinius the Young was telling me that he saw you trying to parallel park in front of the Colosseum, but that you hit the chariot in front and behind you and you ran over two slaves. They were just a bit scratched. The slaves? Oh no, the chariots. The slaves are complete write-offs. <laughs> so no one then? Fine. I'll go by myself. Have fun with that. Good luck. <laughs> uh. Would any of you citizens be so kind as to give me a jump start? My donkey appears to be dead. <laughs> I cannot wait until we don't have to go to school anymore. Me too. My maths class is the worst. You reckon that's bad? Try my English class. I've got wibble! <laughs> <laughs> He's so weird. Hey, I need a pee. You want to come? Sure. See, now that's weird. Why do girls always have to go to the bathroom together? Dude, I don't know. It's not like anything's gonna happen. In goats? Of course not. Everyone knows there's no such thing as goats. <laughs> goats! Ah! <laughs> hey. Did you study for the maths exam? No, I don't need to. I wrote all the answers down on my hand. How do you fit all the answers on your hand? I just used a pen with a really, really fine tip. my master and as such I will grant you one wish. That's great! Hang on, isn't it usually three wishes? Yeah, so you're thinking of the kind of gold class premium package genie, whereas I am more of your no frills home brand type. Well, I suppose that doesn't really matter then. I can wish for anything I like. Of course, go nuts. Okay, um, then I wish for a famous movie star as my boyfriend. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know anyone famous. I have never met a movie star, and I probably never will. I don't even know where to start with that one. You might want to scale it back a bit. OK, then I'd like my very own sports car. Yes! Wouldn't we all? Again, probably not going to happen. I've always wanted a pony. Look at me. Where do you think I'm going to get a pony from? I thought you were a genie. Yeah, exactly. I'm a genie, not a magician. How about a telescope? Those things are expensive. What about a new watch? Again, there's a cost issue involved. What exactly can I wish for, then? How about a piece of chewy? A piece of chewy? You're not much of a genie, are you? Well, what do you expect? I'm giving you something for nothing here. Be grateful. You young folk are all the same. What? It's not about me being young. You're offering me wishes that you can't deliver on. <laughs> OK, sorry, sorry. I wish for some chewy. Great! Uh, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I <laughs> thought I had some. Forget it, then. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Who has awoken the genie of the land? <laughs> Going. Thanks for coming in, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. Thank you. You'd be surprised how many parents don't bother showing up to teach a parent night. Which is a pity, really, because at the end of the day, it's the teachers that are the ones that suffer the most. Yeah, so let's talk about Sally. This is her third year of being an art teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be frank, it hasn't been her best. Lots of room for improvement, I'm afraid. Yes, over the past term, she's been letting things slide. Absenteeism. No concentration in class. Not getting along with other teachers in the staff room. Mm, not showing up in appropriate clothes. Which is generally acceptable for an art teacher. Let's face it, most of them are old hippies. Mm, I think they're creative. But a miniskirt and tie-dyed T-shirt on a four-year-old woman is... What's the word I'm looking for, Ben? Sad? Sad. I have no idea. The parents rarely do. This isn't an easy question to ask, Mr and Mrs Wilson, but have there been any problems at home? Not that we know of. A new group of friends? A boyfriend, perhaps? Well, she has started seeing someone. Uh, Mr Davis, the woodwork teacher. Right, that explains it. Mr Davis has led a few teachers astray in the past. Mm. Miss Thompson, the French teacher. Miss Santorini, the English teacher. Mrs Kellett, the biology teacher. She had to move to another school. In another country. But you seem nice, isn't it? Mm. That's what Mr Kellett thought. Look, I'm sorry, Mr and Mrs Wilson, but if we don't see a marked improvement in Sally's attitude and performance, I'm afraid we may have to send her back to being a teacher's aide. She's far too old for that. We'll talk to her tonight. That would be great. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that wasn't so hard. Do you reckon they had any idea? What, that we didn't know which one their daughter was? Not a clue. There's a hundred teachers in this school. How are we supposed to know which one is which? Who's next? Principal Woodard's parents. Who's he again? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this job. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. What's up? You want to come back to my place? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I might just go to bed. I'm pretty tired. Whoa, you need this new app that I use when I'm tired. Really? Yeah, just check it out. <laughs> student, it is I, Recyclo. Who? Why, the great Recyclo. <laughs> Never heard of you. Recyclo, menace to the mess, enemy of the waste. Ah, Recyclo spots some paper that needs to be recycled. That was my homework. Recyclo! That was my homework. <laughs> Recycle away! <laughs> I hadn't finished that. Ah, looks like you guys had fun last night. Yeah, it was pretty good. Simon enjoyed it. Who's Simon? My new mate. Hey, Simon, wake up. Mm. Huh? <laughs> this is my sister, Chloe. <laughs> Looks like the new guy copped it pretty bad. Your friends really did a number on your face. What's that? Your face! It looks ridiculous! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Chloe. They're birthmarks. <laughs> What's all the noise? <laughs> Love the helium voice. <laughs> <laughs> Voice. All right, I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> ah, the voice. I love this show. All these judges facing the wrong way. The singer trying desperately to impress them with only their voice. It is such a great show. 
It doesn't matter how horrible they look. It doesn't matter how short they are, how bad their hairstyle is, how ridiculous their clothes are, you can still be a judge on this show, no matter what. <laughs> and having a back to a performer is an excellent way to judge something. In fact, this is great. Now I cannot see this show. In fact, now I cannot see anyone from any show. Why did I not think of this earlier? <laughs> All I need is something to put in my ears, and then I cannot hear or see anything. I've invented the perfect way to watch television. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. Tales from Storybook Land. Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Cinderella who lived in a castle with her two horrible sisters. The sisters made Cinderella do all the unpleasant jobs around the house, like feed their fat duck and polish their knees. <laughs> then came the invitation to the royal underage disco. But Cinderella had nothing to wear because her sisters had put all her jeggings into a hot wash and they'd shrunk. The night of the underage disco, as Cinderella lay crying in her bed, her fairy godmother appeared. But, thinking she was a mosquito, Cinderella reached for a can of bug repellent and sprayed her until she spun out of control. <laughs> that night, at the underage disco, Cinderella's two horrible sisters met a prince each and lived happily ever after. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cinderella was arrested for assaulting a fairy godmother and killing a fat duck. <laughs> the end. <laughs> So you're going away for the holidays then, bruh? Yeah, bruh. Flying to Rome, yeah. Oh, so staying local then, huh? How's that, bruh? Within the Earth's atmosphere, yeah. <laughs> We're going on the shuttle. We're going to go skiing on the moon, bruh. Nice, bruh. But see, when I say Rome, I meant ancient Rome. Oh, time travel, yeah. Yeah, bruh. I built the time portal myself, yeah. 8th century BC, look out, bruh. 8th century BC, nice work, bruh. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey. Uh, so what's happening? We going to the footy? Oh, yeah. Dad just said I got to wash the car before I can go anywhere. Oh. Well, I've actually got this cool new app that helps you wash your car. Really? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> Not bad, eh? Yeah. Yeah, great. Missed the spot. Sorry. Keep it up, keep going, mm. keep going. Come on, just a couple more, you're nearly there. You're nearly there, come on. It hurts. Keep going, you're nearly there. Come on, come on. I can't take it anymore. You did good. That was One Direction's latest song. <laughs> now here's Justin Bieber's. Oh, no, make it stop. <laughs> Have I done a first aid course? No, I haven't, but if someone needed me to administer first aid to them, sure, I'd give it a go. I wouldn't just let them die. I hope it wouldn't come to it, but I would amputate someone if it had to be done. If they were in trouble and there was a chainsaw nearby, that leg's coming off, mate. I did, however, uh, try and amputate someone's leg once, um, but it turned out that their legs were fine. It was their arms that were the problem. If someone needed, like, leg amputating or heart operating, I'd be so happy to do that. I've played the game Operation, so I know how it works, and I actually am, like, pretty OK with the idea of stabbing someone open. I don't think I could operate on someone. I'd cut someone's hair. I've done a second aid course. It was kind of where you stand back and go, you've got this, guys. Doing great. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can eat lunch. It smells kind of... Whiffy. Shh. 
so loud. Well, why? There's probably something wrong with it. It could be off. Greetings, students. It is I, Recyclo. Oh, not you again. I will not let that food go to waste. Everything, and I do mean everything when I say everything can be recycled. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't eat that if I was you. This egg smells rather... Oh. Oh, whiffy. I'm just gonna lie down here for a minute and I'm and I'm gonna just a minute or two. Oh. Chocolate bars in my lunch. You can hardly tell that you've eaten them. Oh, bummer. My mum, she always gives me these extra large <laughs> chocolate bars. Give me any more information on what the guy who took your bike looks like? Not that I can remember, no. OK, I think you've given me enough information to go off anyway. I don't mean to sound rude, but aren't you a bit young to be a police sketch artist? Yeah, I'm actually on work experience, but I'm absolutely loving what I'm doing. I'd love to grow up and do this one day. Um, it's my dream to bring new and exciting ideas to the police sketch artistry, so... Um, <laughs> that should just be done. <sighs> How's that? Yeah, that's him. Oh, hey, and there he's there. <laughs> hey! Back here! <laughs> so, I only got 97% for that science test. Oh, it stinks. 97. 97. 97. 97. I only got 96. 96. Oh. Greetings, children! It is I, Recyclo! Here to teach you a lesson in recycling. Uh, we, we actually... Oh, Recycler knows exactly what you were doing. Buckets are recyclable. But... Oh. Recycle! <laughs> it's simple. You wash out the buckets and you can use them again. And that's chemical waste from the science lab. <laughs> I knew that. Get your teacher. Quickly, quickly, get your teacher! Get your teacher! social media um I take a lot of selfies like a lot like not just on my phone but on other people's phones I've taken some of your phone yes um uh, and I don't want to brag but I'm pretty good at hashtagging so hashtag behind the scenes you're skinning me hashtag awesome hashtag you are oh hashtag no <laughs> hashtag I can't think of anything else to say hashtag neither can I Hashtag, let's get out of here. Hashtag, I'm trapped in hashtags. Hashtag, wait. 